Namaste and welcome to Sujit Talks. My name is Sujit Pillar, Registered Migration Agent. Specialized in ICT professionals visa applications 189, 190 and 491 and especially the Australian Computer Society ACS skills assessment for migration purposes. This video is about why ACS deducts some years of experience especially the overseas. Two years, four years or six years of experience that you got is usually deducted based on your qualification. Six years is deducted for those who do not have an ICT qualification but have another qualification. So they are coming from a different background because ICT occupations are such that there is no regulation that only people with ICT qualifications are welcome. You also see people coming from different background altogether and then making an entry into ICT. And in Australia, you see wives of ICT professionals, husbands of ICT professionals, regardless of their background, try to get a job in ICT. So for this reason, what ACS is saying is that not everyone in ICT profession has got necessary skills when they start. So they could start but not have good knowledge about ICT industry. For example, you're looking at data science or data analysis or cloud computing, cloud security, cyber security, ICT security. As you name it, there are different titles. Now we are talking about blockchain also. What ACS argument is that in your bachelor's degree, if you have done an overseas bachelor's degree in IT or bachelor's in computer science, let's take an example from India. Would you be taught on data science? Would you be taught about cyber security? Maybe you might get a glimpse like cryptography, computer networking, computer organization. If I go back in time, what are the subjects I did? Usually we do programming, Java, C or if you go back in time in your bachelor's did you study data science did you study data analytics did you study cyber security you perhaps wouldn't have a clue what's exactly going in the world at this stage we are talking about 5g is anything related to 5g being told in your bachelor's definitely not and uh, what about people who have done masters in australia do you think they are not told what's going on in the industry Perhaps they are told, but these subjects do not really cover what's going on in this world at this stage. That's why what ACS is asking, regardless whether you have done a master's degree in Australia or a bachelor's degree in India in computer science, they are still asking you to provide some experience. If it's done from Australia a master's degree, they are asking you to show one year of experience in ICT in the relevant field or again one year of which is called the professional year so you do professional year you get to know what's going on in the industry and at the end of that uh, professional year program you also have internship where you get to know from the companies directly so you get some experience as well work experience and the beauty of professional year is that you can do it over the weekends as well now what about people who have done bachelors in India they are saying if your bachelors is related to ICT you have done sufficient number of subjects in ICT then it's considered as ICT major and if it's relevant to the occupation that you choose from the skilled occupation list you must have at least two years of experience to be labeled as skilled so the skill level requirement met date starts after the two years period if you have an ICT degree overseas and you want to apply for ACS skills assessment for migration purposes 
you must have at least two years. How do you know how many years you need? There is something called a summary of criteria document on ACS website. You can look it up and check yourself how many years it could be for you to be assessed skilled by Australian Computer Society. Now the main point in this video is whether you can claim experience just after your qualification because those folks who go to Engineers Australia will be able to do so just after their qualification they normally would claim the experience after their qualification so somebody with um, an electronics engineer degree from overseas which is considered as equivalent by Australia according to the country education profile CEP then they will say okay after that bachelor's degree if you have five years of experience considered as relevant by engineers australia then you can claim 10 points if you have three years experience you can claim five points this is engineers australia don't get confused now we are talking about australian computer society what they are saying is if you have five years experience and if your bachelor's is in computer science in India, let's say example, and those subjects are relevant to the occupation of your choosing, which is software engineer, for example, then what they are saying is we will deduct two years from that five years, which means you'll be able to claim points for three years, which are five points. So instead of 10 points, what you're getting is five points only because of the way ACS deducts some part of your experience so what ACS is saying is because the qualifications you get are not teaching you the emerging technology and because some people are not having ICT qualification in their background and but they are still working in the ICT industry what they are saying is give us at least two years show us at least two years of experience where you could have perhaps learned those techniques or technologies and you would be deemed as skilled so they are just asking you two years of experience. But if it is in Australia, it is only one year, bachelor's or master's, and then they are asking you one year. Now ACS argument is the ANSCO description is quite outdated. Remember that whatever the skills assessment body is saying the department takes it very seriously so the bottom line guys is just go with ACS recommendation don't worry about anything else until the department comes out and clearly tells you gives you direction to us or to you indirectly saying that you can claim all the experience after the qualification at the moment my recommendation is just to go with the ACS recommendation about skill level requirement mandate. There is a reason why they do it, but if they change their mind in future, they will let us know and we will let you know. My name is Sujit Billa, registered migration agent specialized in ICT professionals work for migration purposes, especially in the points tested arena. 189, 190, 491, previously 489 as well. If you are looking for ACS skills assessment, I'm the right person to contact. Simply go to my website sujittalks.com, schedule a phone or a video consultation session. Please subscribe to Sujit Talks on YouTube and click on the bell icon to get notified. Also like my Facebook page. Namaste.